Hello everybody and thanks for joining me today. So um, I got a, a few requests on how to make your footage look more like today's Hollywood film. So this can be done relatively quick. Uh, so this is a real quick tutorial. You could probably do all of this within two or three minutes. So what am I talking about? Okay, well here's my original footage. It's just me driving my car. Uh, unfortunately there's some writing here because this was done for another clip. So that's the original, and let's go to our end result. So this is the end result. Okay, so as you can see, there is a, a huge difference in color. This definitely looks like a home footage. And now we've got a little bit more of that Hollywood look to it. So how is this done? Well, that's what we're here for, isn't it? Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to crop your footage. So drag your, go to filters, cropping, drag it onto your timeline or onto your footage, double click, customs filters, All right, bring your width to 100% and your height to 75%. Now you need to change the attributes in your first keyframe because as it moves along the, the size, the, the height and the width is going to change as well. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is right click on your first keyframe and copy and paste to all right. So basically you're telling the last keyframe you want the same attributes as in the first keyframe which is width 100, height 75. Then you press OK. So now your footage remains the same height and width as you can see. Okay. All right, now we double click again. We go into video, color correction. All right, now let's, it's very subtle. You don't overdo it. Saturation, you bring it down slightly. Obviously, it's going to vary on certain footages because depending on, you know, your lighting from, from your camera as well. But just turn down your saturation bit, slightly increase your brightness, about four or five, that should do it. And then bring in your contrast, that, yeah, that 10 should do it. All right, so as you can see, we've already now added more depth uh, into our footage. So it's starting to look uh, you know, pretty good. You know, you could almost get away with this if you want to, but I like to bring in one more filter, and that is my duotone filter. So customize again. Now you won't need the duotone color range because you don't you're not going to work with that. What you need to do is bring your original all the way up to 95 or 94 or 95 and then bring your red orange down to about 3 or 4 and that's it. That's all there is to it and there you go. There is your footage. Uh, you know what? I did it to myself didn't I? I forgot to do copy and paste to all right. So again, same thing as, as you're cropping. Make sure whatever color corrections you've done in the beginning, it is the same on your last keyframe as well. Otherwise, you're going to get a different look. And there you go. It is that simple. All right. And as usual, thanks for watching.